guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i just wanted to film this look from a subscriber her name is callie she wanted me to film a taupe look so i came up with this look and i also used a couple new products that i have gotten recently from either sephora or ulta and i got to try out or in this way concealer from too faced and i do like this a lot so far and i'll have to see how this thing wears but it definitely blends out really nice and it did not make my face feel dry or anything like that so that's always a nice thing and on my lips today i'm actually using the l'oreal and balmain collection and i do like this ofra actually came out with some new packaging and i picked up the highlighter beverly Hills which looks like this really really pretty used it for the first time and I like it it is blinding so if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you want to see like Callie did please make sure that you leave me comments in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one and please make sure to stay tuned to see how I came up with this look I will see you guys later Starting off this look, I'm going to be using a Morphe M224 brush and I'm going to be going into some of MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to put this all through my eyelid to cover up the veins as normal. I'm going to take this Morphe M208 brush and we're going to start working in from the Tarte Tartlet palette and I'm going to use the shade Supermom and I'm just going to pat this on my brow bone just to set this down and I already have my eyebrows done and I've been using still the Kat Von D 24 hour super brow in light brown and I have been liking how I've been putting my brows and they look really nice. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush. There is no number on it. I have mentioned this brush a few times in other tutorials and I'm going in with the shade Power Player which is a almost like a gray taupe color and I did not set my lid at all. I have been trying this out a few times. Notice the punch of color that it does give when you don't set. So I've been going back and forth from setting it to not setting it. I'm just running this in the crease from the inner corner to the outer corner, making sure that the most of the pigment is towards my tail end. And then I'll go in circular motions and bring the shade all the way in. And I'll go all the way to the front, blending and blending and blending into the right amount of color that I want to have until something like this. Next brush I'm going to go into is with a Morphe M330 brush and I'm going to be going into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use Warm Taupe and I'm going to focus this color in the outer crease and bring it into the whole outer area and bringing it forward just a little bit. Circular motions kind of keeping my hand towards the end of the brush. Keeping the shade focused higher up. Going back in with that Morphe brush with no numbers on it and blending this out. What I'm going to do now is go into a BH Cosmetics number no. 8 brush and Satin Taupe from MAC. And this is a really pretty color. Definitely has a little bit of a reflect to it. I'm going to pick up the shade pretty well on my brush. And I'm going to spread this through my lid, going into the shade a few times to make sure that it's a good pack of color. And then I'm going to go in one more time on the brush, putting a lot of product on there. And I'm going to use MAC Fix Plus, spritz a little bit of that on my brush and pat my lid. You can see that the shade is more intense and almost like a foil. Going back in with that brush from Morphe and just brushing the edges real softly. 
using a Morphe M167 brush and I'm going to go in to a Tarte Chrome Paint Pot in the shade Top Yacht and this is a really pretty color. I'm taking this color and I'm going to use this in my inner corner of my eye and I'm going to bring this onto my lid as well. Add it in a little bit so it's not so of a harsh change. I'm going to go in one more time using the MAC Fix Plus again, spritzing my brush. I'm placing that color on my inner corner onto the lid. Flipping it over, adding out that edge. That's how the two colors blend seamlessly into each other. I'm going to be using Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper from Kat Von D. We're going to do a wing on the eyes. Just not doing too much of a big wing, I'm just doing a little one. And just filling it in. Going to use MAC Smolder Eye Coal and I'm going to put this on the upper waterline. Going to be using some of Bad Gal Bang mascara. I'm just putting a light coat of mascara on the lashes. I'm going to be using some false lashes today and they are from Lily Lashes, Ella Lashes. I've used them a few times and I don't have the box anymore. And I'm going to be using some of the duo glue with the green writing on it. I do like this uh, duo glue a lot so I like to keep using it. And then I'm going to be using my Tarte Tartist eyelash helpers. And let's stick these babies on. I'm gonna let these lashes dry and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to use Ofra Highlighter Beverly Hills and I do love the new packaging and this is what the highlighter looks like. I just got it so I actually have not used it besides for today. I'm going to use a Morphe M431 brush and it's just a little pencil brush and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here the lightest one and I'm going to put some of this on my brow bone and also a little bit of this shade on my inner corner just to make it a little bit more silver and it just gives a little bit of a gradient from the top yet too and I'm just going to go back into that Morphe M208 brush and just pat that on the inner corner and also on the brow bone just to smooth it in a little bit and I'm going to go in with some foundation and I don't really have anything new for foundation so I will do my foundation off camera and then I'll go in with concealer which I do have something new. I'll do that off camera and I will be right back. For foundation I used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in 260. As always, the Scandinavia the Makeup Primer Spray. And then I went to Sephora and I got a couple things and I also, and it was like 100 points or whatever, I got a sample of the YSL Touche Claw, the Blur Primer. I think that this stuff looks really nice. I definitely can tell that pores that I have through here are pretty much non-existent. And I used a, I used a IT Cosmetics number 115 brush for foundation. And I usually didn't use a lot of brushes for foundation, even though I do have them, because I've been just a diehard beauty blender person. I like how it applies a lot of foundations, and a lot of foundations actually apply better with brushes instead of a beauty blender. Been giving that a go again. While I was at Sephora, I got the new Too Faced Born This Way concealer and the shade is light beige. And I actually used it to carve out my brows too and I like it, it's a pretty nice shade. So what I'm going to do is apply some of this concealer. And I haven't actually tried this out besides for my brows, so I don't want to put too much on for the first time because I've been known to use a lot of concealer and then it just, it's, 
just doesn't end out nice. I'm just gonna put some up on forehead, on my nose, Cupid's bow, and all those normal areas that you conceal. going to use, this is a damp blue sapphire beauty blender. And yes, it is damp, but I am going to take the Skinanavia, the makeup primer spray and just spray it just a couple of times. And we're going to pat out the concealer. So when I went to Sephora, they actually didn't even have these out yet, but I kind of asked to see if they actually had them yet. And they pulled one out of the drawer for me. And I've been kind of looking for something to replace uh, shape tape because yes, it can be a little drying, but I wanted the consistency and so far it actually is pretty nice. Going to use the Hourglass Veil Powder. I'm just gonna use a Sephora Pro Mini Flawless Brush to uh, set the concealer. I'm gonna just set mainly my T-zone area and everywhere where I put some of the concealer on and brush off the extras and just lightly tap some of the areas on my face with that same brush. And I've just been liking how this powder makes my face look. It doesn't make it look dry or cakey or anything else like that. So I do like this powder a lot. I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics number no. one brush and then going in with the same bronzer, which is the Ambient Luminous Bronze Light Powder from Hourglass and warming up the face and just warming up all the same areas as normal. be going into a Becca blush in the shade Damselfly. This is what the shade looks like. It's a peachy color. Really, really pretty. And I'm going to use a Morphe E4 brush to apply the blush. Very pigmented, so a little will go a long way. I'm just going to go back in with the Beauty Blender and just tap out the edges. And we're gonna go back into the eyes. We're gonna clean up some of the eyelids and then we're also going to work on the lower lash line as well. So I do definitely like how this look is looking and it's really pretty too. I'm gonna go back into the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to use Warm Taupe and I'm going to use that same brush that I was using before, the Morphe M330 brush and smoke out the lower lash line. Bringing this color from the inner corner to the outer corner. Using a BH Cosmetics number no. eight brush and going back into that MAC shade Satin Taupe. Same thing, working on the lower lash line. back into the Tarte Tartlet palette and I'm going to use the shade Fashionista and I'm going to use a Sigma E15 flat definer brush and I'm going to put this in right next to the lash line. Just going to be going about halfway in, damping it on there. I'm going to use this e.l.f. contour brush and using the shade Power Player and blending that shade out. I'm going to bring it down a little bit further. Going to apply some of the Tarte Inner Rim Liner to my lower waterline. And this opens up the eyes a little bit. 
I could have gone in with a black as well and that would have been perfectly fine, but I wanted to keep my eyes a little bit more awake, a little bit more brighter. And I'm gonna go back into the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm putting some of this on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna go back into the Tarte Tartlet palette and using that shade Fashionista. And I'm going to use a Bare Essentials brush, just a double-sided brush. And lightly, I'm going to tap some of this in the outer area to connect where the wing is, just to darken this up a little bit. I'm just gonna blend that out with the Morphe M330 brush. going to set all my powders that I do have on my face with the Scandinavia the makeup finishing spray and I'm going to highlight my face with that Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills and that's what it looks like again and I'm going to use a makeup geek cheek highlighting brush for this and I'm going to use the lighter shades these ones right through here And this is actually the first time using this highlighter. This thing definitely packs a punch. Holy cow. Tap it in a little bit with the Beauty Blender. Really pretty. Holy cow. I'm going to use a little bit of that same highlighter. Use it on my Cupid's bow. And I'm going to use a Morphe M516 brush and apply some of this to my nose. Tap it out with the Beauty Blender on the top of my brows, just fairly lightly. Lip liner, I'm going to use Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude. And I'm going to go into the L'Oreal and Balmain collection for a lipstick and I'm going to use the shade Confidence and yes it is a nude but it has a little bit of a sheen to it and I'm going to tap the lip liner and the lipstick together. For lip gloss I'm going to use DIY from Pure Cosmetics. And to finish off this look, I'm gonna go in with the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. And this guys concludes this look, just using a couple taupe colors, and a couple of palettes that I haven't used in a while, and just a nude lip, because I did get a couple of new things. I wanted to try out the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. I have not actually tried a lot of Too Faced stuff. I have a couple things. Maybe I should look into some more. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you do hit that notification bell and please make sure that you guys leave me any comments in the comment section below. I always appreciate it guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!